What's going on guys? This is my desk setup 2022 video. Super excited to be making this. By the way, it is sponsored by Oregon Office. More on that later though. Also, we're not gonna be talking about anything over here. Uh, oh, come on back here. We're just gonna be focusing on the desk because everything else is a total mess. Plus I already made a video on this whole space, the whole floor actually already. So we're not gonna be talking about in this video, we're gonna be talking about this portion right here. And that's it, let's get into it. So the biggest difference already with this space is the desk. If you remember, I used to have just a butcher block from Home Depot, but it was a little bit too big. So we switched it out with the Ergon Office Sway desk. Now this thing, listen to this, ready? Like that is just, that is solid walnut. So the biggest reason that I like Ergon Office is they're not just like another cookie cutter, like sit stand desk. You can see it when you look at a lot of these other brands, they all look the same. Ergon Office is different though. First thing right here, we do have just a fresh new interface. It's this nice little control panel that goes on top of the desk actually, which I love. Again, premium materials. And there's just a ton of other features that we're gonna get to in just one second. So if you follow me under the desk, we do have, this is called a cable management solution just does a really good job of like shielding any of the cables if people are looking at your desk from the back and then we also have this net and <laughs> i have a ton of cables just stuffed in here but it's it's the little things that like really do a good job in hiding your cables and so that was obviously a priority is that we kept the cable management as clean as possible and then in addition to that i made sure the desk had uh, grommets so there's one on each side one right here one over there i just wanted a good place to kind of hide those speaker cables and then i believe the monitor also goes through there too and then actually probably my favorite part of this whole desk setup is the drawer that's built into the desk the wood matches exactly it just seamlessly slides in really nice feature you don't see that very often now moving to the top of the desk nice little bonus they sent is a uh, leather coaster super nice plus it pairs really well with the leather desk mat this is apparently according to the website this is literally the highest quality leather on the market little ergon office etched in i'm usually not a big fan of leather desk mats just because a lot of the time when you get a leather desk mat it kind of curls up on the edges and it just doesn't like sit very well this one does though this one sits really nicely it only took like a day i think for it to fully settle plus i just love the character that leather desk mats have the characteristics of leather are just really cool after that, we have the power bar outlet. I really wanted this just because it's nice to obviously have power like right next to you on the desk. I really like the USB ports mainly because I swear my Mac keyboard dies like all the time. So I just need to quickly charge it. I can charge my mouse when I need to as well, charge my phone. So really nice having those ports right there. After that, we have the neat filing cabinet. Now this is something special because you don't often see a sit stand desk paired with an equally impressive filing cabinet. This one is just, it's so clean. Obviously I'm not really using it very well I'm kind of a I'm kind of a wreck right now but you get the idea I can put all my files in here huge drawer nice little top drawer it's nice to have a place just to put all my little knickknacks because I'm not very organized and I just need to throw stuff in a drawer sometimes so don't judge. And then the last piece from Ergon Office is the U2 chair. I could sit in this thing all day. It is so comfortable. You know how a lot of chairs are just like overly complicated and kind of weird looking? Ergon Office like they just kept this thing simple. It's a nice chair. By the way, guys, from now until April 6th, you can actually get up to $150 off the Sway desk, which is what I have, or the Alive desk, which I almost got. It's pretty cool. So if you're thinking about picking one of these up, now's a good time to do it. Let's go finish the rest of the tour though. Okay, so there's a few things that we've changed, nothing crazy. Number one, we took the rug and we actually rotated it. If you remember, it was actually like rolled up on that side of the room and we rotated it like 90 degrees and now it's rolled up back here. So it's a little bit less noticeable. I don't, maybe I'm just lazy and I don't wanna get a rug that fits it, but whatever, that works. We moved the desk up like another foot or so actually and it really opened up this part of the room, made room for the couch because it was nice having it in front of the desk to kind of block my legs so people don't look at my legs. I can't see any of the cables, but it's actually been really nice having a couch back here because now if I need to take a quick break, I can still look at what I'm working on, maybe you know gather some inspiration. Or when I have people over, it's just more convenient for them to sit back and chat with me while I'm still on my desk computer. So big fan of the new position of the couch. Uh, we got our poof there. We got our plants from Nearly Natural, pots from CB2. I made these uh, acoustic panels. Uh, by the way, actually don't, don't 
don't judge. Obviously we're missing some stuff. The uh, the hot glue came undone. It's not a big deal, don't look at it. Anyway, uh, we have a Zugo bike right here. I just have a few of these and I figured let's put one in the background for the time being. It looks pretty sweet. Turn the light on real quick. That's better. Beyond that, like nothing's really changed. We still have the shelves. We still have some cameras, the helmets, the Landon BTW, the tube lights. So overall, the setup hasn't changed a ton. We've kind of optimized it, just given it like a little bit of a facelift. Now we can kind of see the wood flooring underneath the rug. The bike is cool. And with the desk, the new desk, it really just, it completes the setup. Before I forget a few items on the desk, we're still rocking the 2019 i9 iMac mounted vertically. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my first setup video, but I just love having notes, you know, media encoder, Spotify, messages open like vertically right here. It's just really nice to have that, all the logistical things that I'm doing, and then have Premiere Pro or every program I'm using open on the big monitor. By the way, this is the Dell 43 inch ultra sharp, super awesome, just extra large monitor. And it actually pairs really well with a vertically mounted iMac because it's almost like the same screen size when this is vertical, so it works really well. Also, I was super stoked to see the Mac Studio announcement. I didn't order one just because the iMac is working great. Like I don't really have a need to do it, but as more reviews come out of the Mac Studio, eventually this setup might actually evolve into a Mac Studio setup. We might ditch the iMac. We'll see. Beyond that, we got the same Klipsch speakers and nothing's changed there. Still rocking the classic Mac keyboard. I'm actually gonna be switching that out pretty soon. There'll be a little video on that. And then the best mouse money can buy is the Logitech MX Master 3. Such an awesome mouse. It just looks amazing. It's super functional. I had the MX Master 2. S, I think, before uh, the 3 came out. And once the 3 came out, I immediately upgraded because it's a good mouse. Last thing is actually just these Sony WH-1000 MX-4s. They gotta find a better naming system for these, by the way. Anyways, I got these just because I needed some good over-ear headphones for traveling. And then it's actually nice to have headphones for editing. Usually I don't use headphones for editing, but when there's like stuff going on in the background and I just need to be laser focused, it's nice to have these with the noise cancellation and everything. My only gripe with these headphones is that they don't connect to my devices quicker. Okay, beyond that, I'm really like not one for little desk accessories. I try to keep it simple. So that's that's everything. That's everything on the desk. One thing that wasn't in the last setup video that I made is actually the podcast studio. So let's go there. So this is the podcast room. I do host my podcast in here, Studio Talk. Go check it out. The only problem here now is that we <laughs> I literally just got a warehouse and we're gonna have three podcast studios in that warehouse so I actually don't need this home podcast studio anymore we might just we might turn it into a bedroom but let's go check out the warehouse because we do have paint up and a lot of things happening it's actually pretty exciting all right welcome 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 this is Connor by the way he's my business partner welcome to studio so we have a lot going on first of all if you look up top we're actually taking off like all these tiles and we're gonna we're gonna drywall it up paint the top black it's gonna look pretty sweet but we are in full construction mode that's cool right now and your phone just fell off that tile just so you know <laughs> anyways uh we're <laughs> probably gonna finish this concrete it's gonna be like that raw cement look <laughs> and uh we got we got the walls painted so let's let's head to the warehouse we're not gonna spend too much time in here we're just really excited about it, so I thought I'd throw it in this video. So if you remember what this looked like before, it wasn't white. We had our guys paint it. It took probably a week, I think, to get it done, but it looks totally different in here, just like so much more natural. The floor color, like don't even, just don't, don't even look at the floor, it's so bad. Are you sure you don't wanna keep the pickleball court though? We do have a pickleball court made out of tape that we might keep. We're gonna put a nice like infinity wall right here in that corner. We just have so many awesome plans. We're just so excited to like finally be in the warehouse. And that podcast room that we were just in, we're gonna be transferring it to this office space. So we're pretty excited. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Once again, thank you, Ergon Office, for sponsoring this video as well. Stay tuned if you wanna see what's happening over here at studio. It's gonna be awesome. See you later. Good <laughs> throw. <laughs>